Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am culminating a full week's worth of racing around the Hungara Ring. This is the main event, the Formula 1 race itself. I've competed in Formula 2, Formula 3 and the Porsche Super Cup. Had a sort of mixed couple of results in each sort of category. Now it's down to the main game to really finish this week on a high. So, today's race, 50% race distance. I've managed to qualify 11th. I was only like a tenth off of getting into Q3, which sort of sucked because the last couple races have actually had a good sort of decent, well, decent amount of pace in the Alpha Tauri. This weekend, I don't know what it is. Seem to be struggling a little bit. I mean, just going off of the sort of R and D and components of the car and updates and whatnot. I supposedly have the best car of sort of the best of the rest. If you take out the Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes in the chassis and the aerodynamics department, I struggle a bit on power. Well, car struggles a bit on power from what it seems but yeah uh, i would have i would have expected we'd be actually all right around this around this joint but again could be down to set up i am just sort of trying to find the best setup on the steam workshop i just don't have the time to go and set up the car not with the limited tire sort of uh tires that you get on a race weekend and also the sort of you have to keep the wear on the engine down so i don't like to go and blast it <laughs> a million miles an hour in practice but it does mean that yeah i have to sort of just find a setup i hope it works it's interesting actually lance Stroll's got a 10 place grid penalty, so I think that may elevate us up into 10th. No, we still have anyway, Find out in a sec. So, one stopper is finish. looking like the way to go. This is the good thing about qualifying 11th is that you don't have to start on the tyres that I qualified on in Q2. So, I can actually start on the better tyre, the tyre that I really want to, because the soft tyre around here is not really the tyre you want to be on. The, the AI are going to have to, well, the 10 AI in front of me are going to have to start on the hard tyre, or well, on the soft tyre, and maybe go to that hard tyre and be on it for longer than they would have liked. But, yeah. So we're probably going to be a little bit slower in the first stint to begin with off the start. Hopefully it should come good. Um, as I said, setup wise, off the Steam Store, so a uh, Steam Store, Steam Workshop. So it's a, yeah, just I, I I do not understand the physics of this game, so I don't know how the <laughs> the setup works, and I, I don't really know how to set up a Formula One car in real life, to be honest either. So I'm not really the best person to to look for in terms or. To look for in terms of setup advice. Anyway, let's head off on this formation lap. It's enough talk. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. Really struggling to get the handle of these starts on F1 2020. So hard to really get an idea as to what throttle percentage to use, what the actual temperature of the tyres are, and the grip of the tyre, and the grip of the surface, temperature of the surface, so much to sort of take into account, I'm really just guessing. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go, Hungarian Formula 1 Grand Prix on F1 2020. Oh, serious lack of power off the start. Didn't wheel spin too much, but it's not been a good start at all. Try and go around the outside. Just about held onto it. Elbows out. Right, survived the first couple of corners just. Dive bomb. Oh, just about made it happen. <laughs> it's been a hectic first lap so far. Just about kept this front wing on the thing. I do love the curbs around here. You can really use them. It's a nice end flat. And also got to watch out for track limits as well. Even though I do have them set to regular, I do like to try and keep it realistic. Decent grip here, to be fair. Bit of aero wash, though. Start. Good job. Oh, man. See, hit the overtake to try and defend. Around the outside. Oh, there we go. Really struggling with the power in this Honda. 
really sort of focus some of the upgrades I think on that from here on out. Spent too much on the aero and the chassis. I haven't spent barely anything on durability, not that many people I think do. Ah, nine. run through here, might be able to make a move. Nope, sorted it. <laughs> so much understeer in the aero wash. That's right, we will come good as the session, as the stink goes on. is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Oh, I've tried to outbreak Daniel Ricciardo and it's worked out. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do in real life. Alright. Let's push forward. We are in the points. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than uh, that's probably I was gonna say that's probably another addition to our power troubles is the fact that I'm sort of on the well that ICE is on its last legs. DRS here, come on. Go you good thing. Not too far behind. The thing is the braking zones are so short around here. I mean this is sort of described as Monaco without walls. I mean there's still walls for you to crash into, but not as bad as Monaco obviously. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it's sort of a bit of a historic um, so sort a of stop on the F1 calendar now. It's been around for a while, the Hungary Ring. But as F1 cars have developed and gotten faster and faster and faster, I mean, these days it's just ridiculous. Like, some of these corners that used to be huge lifts, you know, back in the F1 2011, 2012 days, now it's just, you know, bit, you know that, that corner there used to be a huge lift. Now it's just a sort of off and on. It's just incredible how far these cars have come technology wise and sheer grip they have these days with the wider tyres, big wings. And even though they don't have traction control anymore, they still have sort of plenty of different changes you can make to the diff. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Dive on. We will start to see a loss of power. No, too deep. Fucked it. Oh, shit, I got to defend from Ricardo. Yeah, I think this will be the last race I do on these components. A couple of these engine components, I should say. Whoa, hello. A bit too aggressive through there, but yeah, we should really be starting to overtake the sort of grip levels of these softer tyre runners. Can't see how they'd be holding on to the tyre for this long. Now we're on to sort of lap 5. Remember the tyre wear will be a lot more than what it usually is because of the fact that 50% race distance shortens the tyre life up a bit. So really you could probably get about yeah, 10 or so laps on the softs in real life before they start to really struggle.
Yeah, I'm struggling for power. See, I just can't. I can't make any moves. I mean, this is the real only straight that you can sort of use to pass on. And I can't get close enough. I need to be right up his gearbox. Zach Perez up to 11th. He started dead last. Wow. All right, gotta get a move on here because or else he's going to be on our tail soon. Mind you, the cars ahead of us aren't really getting away. If we could just get past this bloody McLaren of Norris. Spent plenty of time trailing the back of Lando Norris, both in the real world and in <laughs> the virtual world. He is one heck of a driver, that kid. It's not, I was going to say, it's not really a kid anymore, though. Need to be aggressive here. That sort of right hander there was a big sort of passing opportunity in every other category this weekend, but not not in Formula One. The braking zone is too short. I think I saw someone just peel in there. I right, gotta get it done here, come on. So even in the draft, look, I've barely got anything. That's with all the beans as well. battery on this lap, don't really need it. Well, that's Verstappen just ahead of us, to be fair. That's not too bad. I mean, overall performance-wise, when I look in the sort of, um, you know, engineers area in between each session, you can go and sort of look at the performance of your car versus every other car, and right now we're well beyond the best of the rest. We're actually borderline quicker than the Red Bull, which is a bit of a frightening prospect. Head down now, focus, see if we can make up some time on this while well, we have the grip advantage on this medium tyre. Yeah, there goes Verstappen. That's what I thought. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Alright, so pitting this lap. Gotta make this a good in lap. Oh, no, it's not. Good start to the in lap. Oh, track limits, come on, careful. Yellow flag. Been a good in lap so far. Oh, someone's had an incident. Oh, who's that? Okay, clear. No idea. He didn't quite see who that was, but it looked red. It's one of the Ferraris that's going to help us out quite a bit. Stop that in time. Okay, so the race update. Leclerc, who was in the lead just before we pitted, is actually well, started on the medium tire. I remember him starting in. Make sure I get that right. I remember him starting well doing Q2 on the medium tire. So he's actually on a huge, huge sort of strategy bonus right now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. No one's out. All right, so we've come out in free space, which is awesome. But all of the sort of front runners that started on the soft tyre have all got one more stop to make because I thought they were gone straight to the hard, but it seems they can't make it to the end, so they've gone for the two stop, which means that, well, right now technically we're in third, but I don't know how much pace we can have on this sort of hard tyre compared to them on the medium. 
Anyway, the point is that we're actually in pretty good shape right now. Just see how it pans out. And I have come out in clear space, which is good. And Alice is good. Right now. But this tyre has to go 18 laps, so can't last it too early on. the lead. Pierre is in the pits. Oh, so we're actually in third. I don't know how that's happened. never seem to quite keep up with the strategy decisions of the AI. Sometimes I do find them a little bit odd, but oh well. Focus on ourselves, I suppose. Munch them curbs. That chicane is so much fun, I must admit. Ooh. That wasn't. Das was langsam. Kommen. The gap to the car ahead is 11.8 seconds. Here. We're leading our teammate by 15.9 seconds. Still a long way to go there. Caution, caution. Nope, oh, that's uh that's Albon. So that's another red bull we don't have to worry about. Or another car, I should say. The staff is still on the race. Car behind us is lapping faster than us by around one second per lap. Okay. Better get hurry up on then. I had to switch it to lean for a couple laps because the fuel Green usage line. around here seems to be quite a lot. Oh shit. Okay, so Hamilton's just pitted. I didn't even realise that. So we're in second. Maybe he thought. Oh no 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 no. I hate that curb. It just grabs you and spins you out, but. Mercedes garage thought there was going to be a safety car. Okay, we're going to get absolutely destroyed here because he's on the brand new medium tyre with a Mercedes engine in the thing and I'm putting around in a Honda with an old, <laughs> old set of hards on. But our real worry is Verstappen and Bottas. Can we keep those behind? Still got 10 laps to go, so a long way to go left in this race. Clouds rolling in as well. Some weather might, might throw a little bit of a spanner in the works here in a sec. But it would seem if I could just keep the fucking thing straight. I'm really struggling for grip now. You know, the tyre's barely worn out. Far out, man. Get them temperatures back down. I just overheated them in the last lap. You know, it fundamentally seemed that by qualifying 11th and getting to start on the medium tyres helped us out big time. Uh, Hamilton's getting closer. I'm just gonna let him go by on this straight because I'm. Our race is with third, not with second. Should just 
motor on by here. Yep. Save a little bit of DRS. Okay, we lost the position. Trying to keep focus. Head down, let's try and keep onto this podium. Ooh, hello. Lucy Goosey. Down, missed out on the DRS, that would have been a huge help. Dang it. Okay, the car behind is catching you by five tenths a lap. Five tenths. Oh, this is going to be close. What I really need is Verstappen and Bottas to start fighting. lap so far and I think yeah it looks like they've started fighting behind us so that's gonna help quite a bit getting like two seconds on them in that lap all the way two seconds I should should see to be fair Hamilton hasn't actually got away anywhere near as much as what I thought he would That's too much curve. <laughs> A little bit unrealistic there, Joseph. Ah, come on. Don't do that. Fucking hell, man. Bloody hell. Scared the shit out of me. This is intense. <laughs> so much concentration. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Park it on lean again for a while, or else we'll run out. Need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. All right, three laps to go. Come on, let's finish this thing.
Right, two laps to go. Two laps away from a podium finish. No mistakes, come on. Last lap of the race. Got a really comfortable third here. I don't know how the hell we've managed to pull this one off, but that was such a blessing qualifying 11th instead of qualifying sort of in the top 10 and getting to start on that medium tyre. Especially because, you know, this isn't a full distance race, so don't have to really worry about other teams on softer tyres catching us up eventually. I really thought Bottas on that medium tyre was going to get us at some point, but obviously not. It's been held up by Verstappen, which has been sort of another saving grace. I tell you what, we've just been all round really, really lucky in this race. I must admit, but especially as well considering we're well, all these components in the engine are really on their last legs. Well, not last legs, but you know, they're getting on a bit. I see. 61% definitely feel a lack of power on top of the fact I'm already probably running a lot more downforce than the cars around us but anyway around the final corner at the Hungara ring on F1 2020 gonna grab a podium place finished third holy crap I did not expect that at all going into this race especially considering our pace wasn't as good as what it has been sort of in the last couple races, but wow. Woo! And we got driver of the day. <laughs> Winning. Yeah, I think because Leclerc did sort of Q2 on the medium tyre, he got to start on the medium tyre in the race and only had to do one stop. So, you know, there was a large proportion of that sort of the end of that second stint when I was really pushing. We sort of cut, uh, caught up a good two seconds. So this Alpha Tower is getting much, much quicker, I must admit, just doing every single objective in the practice, uh, practice sessions, really sort of building up those resource points and allowing us to sort of update the components on the car every single race and getting a couple of them in. Woo! Under podium! Love me some of that. I used to have a lot of Hungarian mates at the track back in the karting days. I actually drove for a Hungarian team for two races in the European uh, karting championships back in like 20, 20, 2012 that was it. And yeah, the language is oh, that's so a tough then, language. I can imagine learning Hungarian. Oh, Alright, so where are we? Six. Wow. Okay, so we've overtaken Alex Albon, even though he DNF'd. So yeah, Vettel and Albon DNF'd, which helped us out quite a bit. I don't think we would have got the podium had Vettel stayed on the track. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for more to come on the channel. I think we're going to hit up some more IndyCar next. Go back over to R Factor 2. It's been a while since I've done that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll catch you guys later.